morning everyone um, this video is about loads for flat cars uh, or, or and or gondolas that uh, use tarps <clears throat> and my general idea is if you don't like it tarp it so and I, I'm gonna show you a bunch of examples of where I've used tarps for various things and we will uh, we'll we'll talk through each one of these so I'll start with the idea <clears throat> that if there's something that you buy, and I've bought a lot of things over time that I really don't like, right? So, um, and I thought I would at the time. So here's, <clears throat> here's an automobile. Uh, it's kind of cheapish, it's made out of plastic. Um, not really crazy about it, although it, it looks okay on my layout, just uh, didn't care for it a whole lot. Here's here's another one where the bits and pieces are missing. Uh, this is a yesteryear kind of car and I just don't like the shape um, <clears throat> and then here's yet another one where um, things are broken up into little pieces you know and and there's this uh, kind of vehicle it it's not great um, but it's just sitting on my shelf taking up space right so what do I do with these well it's tarp it <laughs> um, put it on as low as a flat car and then put a tarp on it so here's an example <clears throat> of an on 30 flat car from bachman and i aged the deck um, and then i have an automobile under here and it's one of those automobiles i don't like and i just put a load of uh the, the put the, the, the tarp on top of the, the automobile now the other thing is a while back i had bought some um a stack of wood um, and it turns out this is more appropriate for ho rather than uh, for uh, O-gauge. And it, it just doesn't look right, and I've tried using it in a variety of places, but I just put a tarp on it. I just continued to tarp over it, and it just kind of looks like this load. Now I just added a couple cats. <laughs> I like cats, so I just put them on here. Um, but yeah, this is, it's a wonderful thing to do, is with the things that you don't like. Uh, so this is an ON30, and it's a combination of a wood load from that are HO and an automobile I didn't like. Um, now here's another example of uh, an automobile I did not care for. And this is an 18-foot car from uh, Bachman as well. And I put the automobile on here and I put a tarp on, on it. And then I just added these ropes. Uh, for it now, let's just quickly talk about the kinds of ropes you can you can have. So I snared off the the rope that we that I have on there is is just string. It's about this big. Turns out you know this is kind of my earlier efforts. And if you <laughs> expand this rope to the size that it would be uh, in our scale, it'd be about this big. It's a little too big, right? So um, didn't quite realize that at the time. But I took this rope and then I just unwound it. And by the way, I did dip this rope into some water that had some paint in it and it just absorbed some of this light brown kind of stuff. So once I unwound this rope, I had many, many strands uh, that were this big. Uh, and this is, um, and then I put a dark brown color on it and it's much, much more appropriate for O gauge, which is very, very cool uh, thing to do. So now I have lots and lots of this that's uh, just in a drawer. And whenever I want to use it for uh, to tie down some tarps, this is what I use. Now, another option to all of this is um, is to use. Uh, I went to a uh, <laughs> a place that does industrial uh, weaving. Or, and they, they sometimes use sell these used bobbins. And I have tons and tons of, I mean, I, I have forever worth of string that I, can, that I can use, right? So this is another one that the thickness is about right uh, for O gauge. So I can, use, uh, I can use this material to tie things down. The other material to use to tie things down is, um, is chain, right? So this is, this is a chain that uh, I, I bought. And what I did is I just bought 10 feet of it and then I just painted this right on, the, on this material, uh, kind of a reddish to, uh, to simulate rust uh, on these things. Now I got this from um, a ship, 
shipbuilding and you can buy it by the number of links per inch right and I think I bought something like 10 10 links per inch uh, kind of thing and this is about right for for O gauge uh, so quite nice um, and I and you'll see I've used various versions of this uh, earlier and as a, when I was younger um, and not as experienced I used a different kind of chain that's still pretty shiny and we'll chat about that in a in a second okay so getting back to our <coughs> um our 18 foot car there's an automobile here there's a rope around here now and and there's a tarp under here uh there's a tarp on, over all of this now i just an homage to oh brother where art thou <laughs> i have a uh a uh a guy who's escaping <laughs> and he's just sitting there uh, between the the two uh the, the the wheel well of the car and he he has a blanket over him that is just made exactly as the tarp is made for 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 the car right so uh, a lot of fun this is a bachman uh, thing uh these are yesteryear cars and they're a little heavy because there's there's real cars behind here but this is another kind of load that you can make with an automobile um, and an 18 foot flat car. Here is an yet another load that I made. Um, this is using a uh, an S gauge uh, flat car that I truncated and uh, and we you'll, you'll see there's a video in my uh, feed as well that shows you how to do this right so I sliced off the the the, the S gauge flat car and made made it a shorter flat car and on here I put a donkey that you can get from Bachman that I painted and aged and it's just glued down but you can see right here there is that chain right and it's just running across onto the other side and it's just that's what's being used to tie uh, to pretend that it's tying down this uh, this donkey on here okay Another load that I made uh, on on the other end of this, because this was kind of empty, is I just I put a tarp on, right? And then again I used those those string that was too thick at the time. And uh, there is we'll have a video on how to put tarps onto stuff. What's under here is nothing but styrofoam, oddly shaped, oddly cut, badly cut <laughs> styrofoam that were just waste, and I just. Put them on there. I put a little bit of glue, uh, wood glue, on the bottom of it. Glued them on top of the deck, and then just uh, put uh, this uh, and made this tarp over it, and just glued the ropes on it, and used various uh, uh, colors uh, to really make it look look like it's aged. So this is a good tarp project as well, right? So there's empty space. I just put a little uh, waste material. Um, under here and then just put a made a made a tarp for it lots and lots of fun to do this okay you can also do um, uh, for me it was this is one of my very early efforts and it is a fire uh, fire engine that's being transported to its final location uh, with a tarp that has strings that are tightening it down on in the various places it also has uh, the chains uh, that are holding the automobile in place or the, the the fire engine in place very cool stuff and uh, I will show you how to do this now I used a, a version of this uh, fire engine except that it had broken pieces right it wasn't holding right so I just glued it best I could back together and put a tarp on it so you can't see where all the broken stuff is but you can see inside and you can see on on the inside as well just just a lot of fun of a car to do okay a um, couple more ideas um, the first one is if you have a gondola this is the Bachman gond gondolas and um, this is a couple bales of uh, cotton with uh, just a couple things on top of the of the um, of the tarp to keep it down. And I just put a tarp on top of guess what waste uh, material 
that is just uh, styrofoam bits and pieces that I just glued down with wood glue inside of the gondola. Uh, and I had aged the gondola, and there's a video about aging these things. Um, and it's very light because uh, this is all just styrofoam. Uh, just a lot of fun. Now, keeping just, uh, it's probably hard to see, but this particular tarp is very pitted, right? It's got a lot of structure to it. And I'll, in a second or so, I'll talk about the kind, different kinds of materials you can use for these tarps. And then we'll have a video about how to make uh, these tarps around uh, material, around uh, uh, various uh, objects like this. Okay, lastly, um, there's this load <coughs> that starts off, it's uh, 3D printing and it's this sort of shiny material. And uh, it has this really nice details on inside of it. And it's just a gondola load that you can have. Um, and the first thing I did is I spray painted it black and then I put a white wash on it or a gray wash on it. And um, it's really, really a lot of fun to just put this directly into the gondola. The thing is, I just wanted to experiment about just putting a tarp over a small part of it, right? Just, uh, just around this boiler uh, component. And so I got a gondola and um, you know, I added some rust and some reds and other colors, and then I added a tarp just over the boiler. So it removed some of the details, and I had a very happy accident. I, I get a lot of those, right? So whenever something bad happens, make it something good, is that I had put too much water on this tarp. And so it ripped, and um, it's maybe hard to see, but I ended up making it look like it was a ripped tarp. So just, just, a, just a blast, right? So I just, you don't have to put a tarp over the whole thing. You can put a tarp over just part of it. And then I just kind of painted a dark green with some brown and aged it to make it look uh, really, really old. Um, you know, many other colors in here, uh, just, just a blast. All right, so what about the materials for the tarps? And there's two materials, and we'll, we'll talk about that, right? So here's a bounty uh, kind of quicker picker-upper kind, <laughs> kind of thing. This is the one that has a lot of structure to it. And um, you, there's not enough water to make it look smooth. Now, in the end, with colors and paints and so on, you, you really don't see all of that pitting. But I'm not too crazy about uh, this, uh, this particular material at this point. I don't think I'll be using it. The other one is just to use Kleenex, right? And Kleenex has, does indeed have pattern to it, right? Uh, you can see all of this uh, pattern stuff in it. And it, 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 But when you add water to this with glues, it just completely smooths out and makes a really, really nice tarp. All right, so these were just ideas, um, a variety of ideas. Uh, what to do with uh, various uh, various uh, materials and uh, and using tarps to cover up things you don't like. <laughs> That's the thing, right? Is if you don't like it, tarp it. All right. Um, enjoy. <laughs>